Hello, Chrysler, and welcome to Cardiff Arms Park. We're in the Welsh capital, and welcome to Recharge. This is a new show to look back at each round of the TikTok Women's Six Nations to make sure you don't miss a thing. It's so good to have the championship back. The rugby, the rivalry and the fans. Humiliated here two years ago. No plan, no structure, no hope. How times have changed. Two years ago, we were nil here in Cardiff, but that was a different story today. Wales were outstanding that first half. Clinical, driving more, scrum time. What a performance. Put the game to bed in 40 minutes. Ireland. It could be a difficult tournament for them. They're in this rebuilding phase. The only team in this year's Six Nations that didn't compete in last year's Rugby World Cup. This could be a difficult year for them. Ooh, it was so much. We've enjoyed and we won. There's a big difference from last Six Nations. Where do you think Wales are going to finish in this year's Six Nations Championship yeah. based on that? <laughs> Third. It's only going to get better from here, so I can't wait to see it. I'm very excited. Got to be the, one of the best moments today. A oh, great performance. I, I thought the first half especially, you know what I mean, I think it was like 26 nil half time. Ireland threw everything at Wales, but the scrum was outstanding. The line out, uh, getting the ball wide in the wide channels, yeah, it was brilliant. Second half, probably not quite as clinical, but what a start. Isn't that nice? That's what it's all about. It's been a bittersweet week as Sarah Hunter has announced her retirement from rugby. So we're going to ask people if they want to send on a little message of thanks from the fans for her incredible career. Thank you to Sarah Hunter. I just want to say thank you because you're a really well-known person from the north that's helped inspire loads of young girls, especially me, going into rugby and trying to get to a high level as well. I would just like to say thank you because you're an inspiration to all female rugby players thank and you young girls. Know. What she's done with rugby and anything in general has been amazing. I wish her all the best luck in the future. Thank you for everything you've done for girls in rugby, especially as someone from Newcastle. We're not really that represented on the global scale and it's nice to see someone doing something you do from the same area as you. Last year's champions England travelled to Newcastle for their opener, meaning Scotland only needed to hop over the border. Could Rachel Malcolm's crew upset the leaving do? Well, it's an England victory. They are back to winning ways. It was all about one woman in the end. It was a day for Sarah Hunter, everyone's favourite Geordie today. Hi, Rocky Clark here. My goodness, what a humdinger of a match that was. Scotland versus England. England on the front foot all the game. They were able to get the likes of Claude McDonald, Amy Kane onto the score sheet. Some really dominant set piece display there, but a massive send off for the Queen herself, Sarah Hunter, on her last game. Scotland throwing everything at it, but not quite good enough on the day. But it is a positive start for England and plenty more to come from Scotland. Retirement, the light like buses. Me first, and then Sarah. I'm not saying you look like a bus, Sarah. The girls have been brilliant this week. I've had the best week. I've enjoyed it, and to come out here and to play at home in front of this amazing crowd and put on a performance like that, it just, yeah, it just means everything. On a personal level, like, she's been kind of so fundamental to my development, my career, and, you know, she's become an extremely good friend in the process, so I'm very sad that I won't be playing alongside her again, but, you know, she went out in style today um, at home, and I just don't think she could have done it in any better way. When it comes to jetting off to the continent, there's only one man that gets speedy boarded every time. So let's check in with Nick Heath, who's in Parma, where Italy host France. Well, again, that long hung in the balance, particularly during that second half. But France, they may have had less caps in their starting 15, but it's the quality of that experience that told in the end. 
Things have just wrapped up here at Palmer alongside Heather Lockhart and well it was the conditions really that told thought that Italy were coming back into that second half. The Italian line now they just kept going a bit too far to the back and I think they just needed to modify it slightly and play the conditions better and interestingly France got their try in the end from that shortened line out just a quick pop to the front and managing the conditions well and superb finish. Yeah they certainly did. Um, what time are you up this morning? Oh okay. <laughs> too early. Laura, you felt that, that the French didn't get that bonus point, didn't use all of the advantages from set piece that you saw as well as you hoped they might. For France, it was a difficult game. They didn't manage to uh, transform their um, very good uh, scrums and line outs. So it's a, a bit frustrating for us. Right then, TikTok Women's Six Nations Fancy League time. Everyone's got an opinion, but this was my best team of round one. A few Welsh girls, some tough picks in the back row, and a centre pair of two 12s as they were both on top form. What can I say? This week was tough. Let's hear who you'd have gone for in the comments and keep up with all the news ahead of round two across the TikTok Women's Six Nations social channels. Right, that's the first round complete. What a busy one it's been. And thanks to everyone who got involved. From all of us here in Cardiff, Hoyle Vaur. Hey, Sunna, now you've retired, I think it's time we start an England vets team. I've been waiting. Let's go back to the glory days. Bash! That hurt my hair, Achilles.